noticed uh, author boxes like this under uh, wire cutter blog posts or like any blog post uh, in general like they typically have like a author box at the bottom uh, I'm gonna show you like how you can do the same for Shopify articles uh, you don't have to use an app uh, you can do it just like using some basic um, code and like meta objects super simple um, so to start off like uh, you need to go to content go to meta objects and click add definition and come in here and type in authors and you need to add some fields right like you need to have like your author name author description image and link so click add field um, you gotta name, name. Uh, make sure the name like the text is exactly like I'm typing it uh, save and you're gonna need Select file and click image. And you don't need videos, definition, and then you're gonna need a link. You can use that as a single line text as well. Uh, link. And the last one you need is like a rich text for the description. Uh, type in rich text, you should see it. Uh, description, click add and save uh, that's the first step the second step is to now create a meta uh, field which is different from a meta object uh, type in meta field and go down to your blog post and click add definition and come here and type in author so type and you're going to search for meta object Sweet. And you're gonna select the one you just created, which is authors. Click save. And that's and now next you need to paste in the code uh, for the author box to appear. So um, I'm using Dawn, but you might be using some other theme, but it's actually very straightforward. I'm gonna show you how to find where to paste the code in. Uh, click edit code. Uh, I'm gonna give you access to this notion as well. Um, you can get the code from there. Uh, click copy. Um, so come in here and type in article. Typically, you'll find something like article.json at the top under templates or or dot liquid. But if you find dot json, just click on it and you'll find the name of the file you need to go to. The, it's usually like at the top called type and main article for Dawn and for my thing, uh, the file name is main article, but for you it might be different. But anyway, once you, uh, and if it's dot liquid, you'll have something similar. Like at the first line, you'll have something similar. You'll find the name, right? Once you find the name of the file, just click, go find the file, go in there and click control find article dot content and click next. All right, I already pasted in the code. Let me remove this so I can show you how to do it. Uh, so you should find something like this, right? You'll find like a div and you'll find like two curly braces with article.content. It's so coming here and just paste in the code you copied from Notion file. And click save. All right, we're almost done, just two more steps. Um, the hard part is done. Now, now to go to the easy part, like just, now we need to like add an author, right? So we don't have any authors, so I'm gonna add an author. So to add, you can have multiple authors. So I'm just gonna create one dummy one. I'm gonna name myself. I'm just gonna use this image. Um, actually, you'll have to upload the image to uh, uh, your um, Shopify and select it from there I think so or no actually you can yeah actually I already have an image here so I'm gonna use that um, just got to link it to some article yeah and this this is usually where like a LinkedIn link or something you know I'm just gonna use this description and click save so that's one author you can have many authors and now I'm, I'm gonna assign you to a blog post um, I'm going to go into a blog post, 
other I have a dummy block post here. Scroll down, you'll find meta fields. Click show all and select an entry and you'll find the author you just added. If you have multiple authors, you'll find the whole list here. But for me it's just me, so save and that's it, you're done. Uh, view and you should be able to see. Yeah, you'll find it. If uh, if you and if you click learn more, it goes to yeah, and if you don't have an auto setup, nothing will show. So I'll show you that as well. Um, if I clear this guy, save it. There you go. That's it. So that's how you set up auto box uh, for your articles, um, and you don't need any app or anything. It's a one-time setup, and you can use it as many times as you want. So, cheers.